system on delays at the Department of Workforce Development. While the computer system is tough to use, Wisconsin state law requires that DWD check multiple issues before determining if someone is eligible. With so many boxes to check off on each case, the I-Team Sean Gallagher found that is just adding to the delays. Those who waited months on the unemployment system in Wisconsin have likely heard the word adjudication at some point in the last year. August or September, it went to adjudication, which, okay, that's another process of it sitting and waiting. Think of an adjudicator like an investigator. Anytime someone makes an unemployment claim and there's a question about their eligibility, it's assigned an adjudicator. They investigate the claim and determine if that person is in fact eligible for benefits. According to the department, it's a manual process done both at the time a person applies for unemployment and double checked each quarter. The state currently has 551 adjudicators, a number that jumped by 200 people last year at a cost of $7.4 million to taxpayers. And there's a reason why the state needs more adjudicators. An audit found 77% of all unemployment cases were investigated last year, some waiting up to 75 days or more for a determination. For some reason, I was denied by an adjudicator for the PUA. As the I-Team investigates unemployment delays, we've heard from several people who say their individual cases were handled by multiple adjudicators, delaying the process. In a Senate committee last month, DWD leaders told lawmakers they chose to quickly train additional adjudicators in very specific areas, rather than spend more time training someone on all the ins and outs of the UI system. The reason it is currently set up that way is because there are so many different issue families which can cause a claimant to go into hold status. Each of those particular issues is very complex and has a long runway of training for somebody to learn about. But those waiting tell us in some cases, multiple adjudicators can lead to confusion and miscommunication. Why would you switch adjudicators in the middle of a case when it's right near the end? Former Greenfield resident Tyler Lang waited for months before even hearing from an adjudicator. They first told him they did not have necessary information from his employer to prove his eligibility. He showed us they did, but his claim was still denied by someone else. I asked her, I said, so why was my case closed? She said the state of Wisconsin decided to remove her as the adjud adjudicator from the case and put a new adjudicator on the case. He's appealing his case along with thousands of others who also feel they were unfairly denied. Labor attorney Victor Forberger represents people who are appealing their cases. He says problems like Tyler's may have stemmed from putting adjudicators on problems and not people. You need people to kind of see through issues and problems and look at the big picture. And that's how you kind of find efficiencies. If you just subdivide it out, you just create more inefficiencies. The department says it was an effort to save time training. Ideally, I certainly agree with you that it makes much more sense to keep one case with one person so that it can see it, you know, from beginning to end, but sort of in this extraordinary time and in the, the level of volume that we had, we really needed to train up people as quickly as possible and get them working so that we could get through these claims. They again blame the department's antiquated system on delays. Adjudicators need to navigate the decades old system by hand. But Forberger says that's not the whole story. The state's laws complicate the unemployment process and are full of landmines that could make you ineligible. It's something he says would have been difficult to change even pre-pandemic. It's difficult now, but the imperative to get that addressed is even more important now. And I'm not seeing that yet. And that's kind of why things seem to be going so poorly in the state. With multiple unemployment programs and adjudicators focusing on the problems and not the people, it's falling on the appeal system to sort it all out. The department says they have more than 2,000 cases on the calendar already, but the majority, more than 16,000, are still waiting to be scheduled, meaning those people will have to wait months before they get their time in front of a judge to make their case. Reporting for the I-Team, I'm Sean Gallagher. As we get closer to the one year mark of when the unemployment system collapsed, the I-Team is continuing to investigate just what went wrong. If you have a problem you'd like them to look into, you can reach them through our website. Go to tmj4.com unemployment and submit your tip.